Prime Minister anymore because he's um, ruining the environment and making people very unhappy. And because of the um, $400,000 cut to CSIRO, they're going to have to close the uh, Level 4 Biolab down in Melbourne, yeah. which is currently working on Hendra virus, SARS, uh, Ebola. Uh, in this time, wouldn't you think that would be such a, a, a thing to keep? Maybe? I don't know. What are you going to do when you shut it down? Do you put all these diseases on ice? Or do you what? Do you destroy them? Destroy years and years of research? It's just nuts. Mm. Well, you know, this, this is bigger than any sort of partisanship. Or, this, is, this is humanity. This is diseases. They don't care whether you're left or right or liberal or labor. Keep this stuff open. Fund the goddamn CSIRO. So many lower income people and doesn't seem to bother the rich people at all. We're worried about the environment. We hate what's happening with the refugees. We're worried about Medicare, obviously. That's a huge issue for us. I look after my mother who's 84, so that's an issue for me too. We're worried about the PBS. I worked in schools for 30 years, so I'm really worried about education and what's going to happen with kids and, yeah. and the disability pensions and unemployment they're doing to, to job seekers. Yeah. I worked retail for 37 years and I'm scared about what they're going to do with penalty rates for the poor little kids who don't know what to ask for when they do these contracts. Yeah, that's right. That's uh, what's right. a 17 or a 14 year old, year old going to know about maternity leave or if they get sick because they're immortal at that age. They, they're not scared of anything at that age and they're not going to know what to ask for. Yeah. It's important to get out and show other people. I think for every person that marches there's there's probably 10 other people out there who feel the same. It's good to get the word out there. Hopefully, hopefully it gets out there. There's so many issues. For me, it's environment mostly, but a lot of social justice issues. Mm. We're just heading the wrong way, Americanising Australia. Mm. It's just unfair and unsustainable. Yeah. This is the only way to fix this, by, by getting all the people together and speaking up with knowledge and make sure we're heard. I've seen firsthand the uh, impacts that coal seam gas has on the environment and on uh, the people who live in those areas. Yeah. The, uh, you have rural areas becoming industrialised and uh, just completely changing the fabric of the society. Mm. Uh, and uh, just the environmental impacts and uh, possible uh, problems with the water. Mm. Uh, and uh, it's not worth it. Mm. We need renewables, we need investment in renewables. We don't need fossil fuels. My issue is I'm impassioned, passionate about politics mm. and uh, the damage that the Abbott government's going to cause not only in the next two years but for several generations. Um, the snouts in the trough, uh, the fact that their government isn't um, has no no understanding of how normal people live because they're so elitist. So, you know, we had this contract. You pay your taxes, you work hard your whole life, yeah. and then you know when you retire, yeah. you've looked after the country. It's time for the country to do That's a little right. bit something for you, you know. Right. And then suddenly someone comes along and rips up the social contract and says, "No, I'm sorry, we're going to turn you into America." Well. They seem yeah. to be trying to push upwards at the same time that we've got an ultra right wing government trying to push us downwards. And the media's failed us. So you look at the worst of what's happening in yeah. the US right now and say yes. that is our future.